Isaiah 14 verse 9. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. Call Eliam, Allah Hayanawa, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Racha, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach one and rule world who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives through the four corners of the earth. To the Akwa, the listening, listening and learning. Shalom. This is your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin camp here in Toronto. And uh, a couple scriptures. But uh, I'm going to run this clip, a short clip. I'm not going to run the whole thing. But the title says, Tragedy for America as Harris will be president if Biden can't go on, right? And these elites, you know, they're shrewd, they're subtle, they're crafty, man, right? And we know order ab chaos. Order out of chaos. We know these elites, their, their, their agenda is the NWO. Their agenda is the grain of rice, the C, hip, the Revelation 13, verse 16 on down. And to do that, right? Because listen, Esau, Edom, and their craftiness, Americans, Babylonians will lose their shit if this, if this woman was to step in. They would lose their shit. Let's read this scripture. Isaiah 14 verse 9 and it reads Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming Meet who? America the great, Babylon the great, you Idumians Right? You ruling class elites Right? What's, what, what, what's the future for, for, for Esau, Edom? Evil and slavery, bad times Right? It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth, right? All these other nations are being stirred up to come against the whore. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations, right? These other nations, these, Jim, these, these Jinpings, these Putins, these, these Kim jong Uns, right? They're all, they're all being roused up to come against the whore. All they shall speak and say unto thee, these other nations, art thou also become as weak, Salakia, art thou also become weak as we, art thou become like unto us, right? These other nations are looking at America the Great, Babylon the Great, as very weak, ready for the take, right? But uh, close out with the scripture and then we'll, we'll run the clip. Mark 3. Verse 23, and he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan, right? And we know this scenario was to happen. Babylon, the great, these Babylonians would lose their shit. The patriots would lose their shit. And then we see these, uh, the, uh, the, these, these patriots being roused up. Trump's house being raided, right? These devils are crafty. These Idumians are crafty. These ruling class elites, they're shrewd, they're subtle, they're crafty, right? Verse 24, Mark 3, verse 24. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand, right? And America the Great is divided. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but hath an end, right? And America the Great, Babylon the Great, NATO and the EU, the beast, they are divided. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Stay prayed up, pray without ceasing. Kwame Asherala wa abad baba. We talked a lot about how unfit for office US President Joe Biden now seems. Uh, so vague, so unfocused, physically weak, unable now at times to even put on a jacket without the help of his wife. Uh, and yesterday saying, uh, you know, that uh, there was zero inflation in America that month, where technically there'd been uh, no increase in inflation that month, but inflation's still 8.5%. But the tragedy for America is that the person who'd take over, if he can't go on, is Vice President Kamala Harris, who will say the wildest things without blinking. Here's her latest.